Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm Samurai DX, and I'm Solid Snake. Last time we left off, we did finish off our investigation when we um, spoke to Uncle, because that's the guy's name for now, and um, we found a revelation when um, we were about to leave his shack that um, the parrot Polly told us not to forget about DL6. So I'm kind of confused in how um, the parrot knows about DL6. So um, could it be that um, that old man is possibly linked to the DLC? Who knows? But we'll find out as we go along. But for now, we're going to go into the court case because we finished investigating. So let's go. December 27th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Snake, remember you're playing the old man, right? Yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well, apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here, anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, very well, no opening statement, so... Not so fast, Judge! I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking! R right of course. A prediction. Today's, today's trial will end in three minutes from now. Order! Order! Mr. Von Karma, what's the meaning of the, your statement just now? Bah! Must you question everything? It'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. R right. I will call my witness. My decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious bookshop owner. Witness, state your profession. I am a property. Pro, pro, I am the pro procurator of the restaurant and went noodle. I also wear boats. The night of the incident, you were at the Pope Realm shop, correct? Uh, yep. Yep, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard the old guy, who the old guy is. Let's raise an objection because. We're supposed to know who the guy is. Sorry about the long pause. I'm being von Karma, minus the aggression. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't even stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah! I have predicted the trouble ending three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. Witness to still the witness will state his name. Well, uh, uh, I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> what do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. There you go. You cannot recall his own name. Hmm. You can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony, that we sh shall we witness? Alright. Night of the murder. 
it was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. Yep. I was in the restroom when I read boats as usual. Then I heard a bang. Yep. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just a float in the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to the shore, and a man walks by my window. Hmm, very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. Very go. No need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Judge, your verdict, now! Uh, yes. M Mr. Wright? Wait a minute. What do you mean? I'm not ending this trial right here, right now. We have the right to cross-examine. Table smash. What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine a witness. Hmm, very well. You may begin. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed! I see. Well then, we'll just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. Oh boy. What's Von Karma's deal? Just after midnight, you say? I hear just around then. Are you sure? Pretty sure, I am. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seemed so sure about it today. I asked him, and he remembered! Isn't that right? Don't glare at me like that. I, I, er, I remember the clarity. I did. Yep. You see? Continue! Is there anyone who can verify that? Well, I guess Polly could. Table smash. That, that's not good enough for the court of law. Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Uh, uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. A uh, parrot? Don't be so hard on the girl, Keefy boy. Okay. The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Shop. Sorry. Witness, please continue. And where did the bang seem to come from? From the lake. From the lake. I figure. Are you certain? Uh, I am. Good. Continue. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. But I figured there were two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them clearly? Uh, yep. At the time, that is. At the time? So you heard two gunshots total? That's what Nada said in the testimony yesterday. By your window? I hear by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, 
the fog was pretty darn thick. But he was right there in front of me. I saw her. This is, this is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. So do I, actually. That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Uh, are you sure? Uh-oh. The dad Dead certain cave. I'm dead certain cave. He said I can't believe he's dead as he walked as he was walking by too. Oh wow. Witness! Are you sure that person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him, that Edgeworth boy. Uh oh. Hmm. This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. For karma. He led me into cross-examining so that he could set me up for all for a fall. <laughs> Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Neither do I. Because at this very moment, Edgeworth is guilty. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. Oh, man. I'd better act quick or this trial is going to be over. Uh... Raise an objection. objection. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's court that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Objection. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edra's right hand found on the gun? And the photograph showing that the man was firing with his left hand? Exactly. That is easily explainable. He could have whipped his prints after he fired. I mean wiped, not whipped, wiped. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true! Hmm... The judge ha is lost in thought. What should I do? Let's raise another objection, actually. Objection. Your Honor! This witness claims that Edgeworth said, I can't believe he's dead. But his words is all we have. If he was telling a lie... Mr. Wright. In the court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Uh, Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Nick needs you. <laughs> oh god, I'm not I'm starting not to like his laugh. That's like the first time he's done it already. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, fifteen minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough. The witness may leave the stand. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. Nor is there any need for the time for more time to decide against the defendants. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. W what? No. Huh. This court finds the defendant Miles Edruff. Uh oh. No! We just lost! No! We just lost! No! 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 This can't be! The accused will surrender to the court immediately. To be held pending trial at higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. Court is adjourned. Oh no. 
Oh no, we lost. W -w 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 wait! Huh? Who's that? Whoa, who's that? Uh, who was that just now? Me! Well, I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. It's been 15 minutes and I'm calling in the video. When we come back, folks, we will find out who that is. Until then, until then. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.